The approval process feature has received some nice additions as a part of the 10.0 enhancements of SAP Business One. Some new features have been added like the ability to have the authorizer update drafts in pending status, as well as additional new fields in various approval process screens. These new features can help reduce the amount of time needed for back and forth communication between the authorizer and originator. Let's begin by navigating to Administration, System Initialization, General Settings to view the new approval process setting. On the BP tab under the Approval Process section, there is now a checkbox titled Enable Authorizer to Update Document Draft in Pending Status. When this checkbox is checked, for any draft documents that are awaiting approval, the authorizer will be able to update the draft documents that were created by the originator. Now it is no longer just the originator that can update the draft documents. Now both the authorizer and originator can. This can be useful if you need to quickly update the draft document without having to notify the originator to make the change. When a request for document approval is sent to the authorizer, there are now some additional fields on the Request for Generation Approval window. To display the new fields, let's navigate to the Messages and Alerts Overview window and locate a Request for Document Approval Entry. Highlight the request and select the golden arrow under the Request for Document Approval section to open the Request for Generation Approval window. Now under the Document Draft Details section will be two new fields that were added, last updated by and last updated on. The last updated by field will display the user that previously updated the draft document, while the last updated on field will show you the date and time of when the draft document was last updated. These new fields provide greater visibility as to when the draft was last updated and who updated it. Additional fields have also been added to the approval status report. To open the approval status report, Let's navigate to Administration, Approval Process, Approval Status Report. When the Approval Status Report Selection Criteria window appears, make sure you have the correct selection criteria selected and click OK. Once you click OK, the Approval Status Report will open and if you notice towards the right side of the report will be the new fields, Draft Updated By, Draft Update Date, Draft Update Time, and draft remarks. If you do not see the new fields on the report, you can navigate to your form settings and make sure that you have each new field selected. These new fields will also appear on the approval decision report as well. Now let's go through a demonstration of how an authorizer can update a pending draft document and how the updates are reflected in the approval status report. While you have the approval status report open, you can simply click the golden arrow next to either the document draft number or draft key to be taken to the draft document. Once the draft document opens, you'll be able to adjust the draft document accordingly and click the add button at the bottom. Clicking on the add button will not add the draft document. It will simply update the draft since it is in pending status. After you click add, there will be a message at the bottom stating that the draft document has been updated. Now if you reopen the Approval Status Report, you will notice that the draft now states that it has been updated by Jason instead of Bill since we recently updated the draft document. The new features that have been added to the Approval Process functionality in version 10.0 of SAP Business One are great for offering better visibility and can reduce the amount of time it takes to approve a document in your system. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.